Hello friends, hope everyone's doing well. So today we're playing as Ghostface. I got a nice comment from Joseph2978 asking me to run a build. He said for any killer, but he said that he likes to run on a Ghostface, so that's what we're going to be doing today. But before we talk about that, let's talk about the trial itself. The survivors played really well in this one. They managed to get a decent amount of gens done, but also we managed to, you know, keep them at bay with our perks. It was very hard fought on both sides. We definitely made a lot of mistakes, but they did as well. And honestly, I had a lot of fun. I don't play as Ghostface too often, and when I do, I usually enjoy myself, so I probably should start playing as I'm more. But anyway, let's go into our build. So as asked, the build I'm bringing today is Friends to the End, Surge, Corrupted Intervention, and No Way Out. So the first perk, Friends to the End, whenever you hook a survivor that's not the Obsession, the Obsession will be exposed for 20 seconds and they'll be revealed to you for 10 seconds. Whenever you hook the Obsession, the Obsession will change to a random survivor, and the survivor that becomes the Obsession will scream, revealing their location to you just for a second. We do manage to get some decent value off of it, um, we do get to get to know where a couple of survivors are, and also we manage to use our ability to actually keep that exposure for longer. This is an okay perk for Ghostface, I don't think it's the best for him, but this can be very helpful when it comes to like, if you're able to 99 the Obsession and then just leave them, and then you kind of get to know where they are, and better yet if you're just able to down them outright, but I will say that I think his ability does better than this perk does, but this can give you some good information as well. I think maybe changes out with barbecue might be better, but as we show in this trial, we do get some decent value off of it, so I guess you can be the deciding factor if you want to run this in your build or not. Next perk we have is Surge. Any single time we put a survivor into the dying state with a basic attack, which is all Ghostface can do, within 32 meters of the survivor being downed, any generators that are in that radius will explode, instantly losing 80% of the progress, and if a survivor is working on the generator, they will scream. This can give you a little bit of information, and it's a good regression perk overall. Also, I think it's really good for Ghostface, because all he has is basic attacks. It's kind of like the spirit in a way. You're going to get Surge value no matter what, unless, like, you know, you're just a very unlucky enough to not be close enough to be able to hit generators, but other than that, you're always going to get value off this perk for him. The next perk we have is Corrupt Intervention. At the start of the trial, the three gens that are the farthest away from where the killer is will be corrupted by the entity itself, and they'll be corrupted for 120 seconds until you put a survivor into the dying state. This perk can be good on Ghostface. This can give you a decent amount of time to stalk survivors that are trying to find generators, but the only problem I have with it is that sometimes this perk doesn't work correctly all the time, because I've had it where all the generators by me are corrupted and all the ones that are by the survivors are uncorrupted. That has happened to me a couple times before. This could be a hit or miss perk. It's good to build up your stock on survivors, even if it's just halfway, or if you're able to better yet 99 them and then chase them later, but I, the problem I do have with this is that if you're able to catch a survivor off guard, or if a survivor's working on a generator and you do grab them, then there goes corrupt. But I will say in this one, we do get some really good value off of it. And the final perk we have is No Way Out. This is a good endgame perk. Whenever the exit gates are powered, if a survivor interacts with the exit gate switch, it'll get blocked by the entity. Both of them will. Whichever exit gate that is interacted with first will give you a notification, so it'll just kind of be like, it's kind of like a missed skill check notification. This can give you a good idea of where survivors are starting to really converge at, either that or it can give you an idea of where just one survivor is. Both exit gates will be blocked for 12 seconds, but this perk can also gain tokens. Any single time you hook a survivor for the first time, you'll gain one token up to four. Each token adds 12 seconds to the timer. So in total, you get 48 seconds once you get all four stacks, plus the base timer itself, which is 12 seconds, so that'll equal up to 60. I think No Way Out's a good perk on Ghostface. This can help you out a lot when it comes to if you manage to 99 a lot of survivors with your ability, and then, you know, No Way Out activates. You can still kind of keep up that pressure with um, them being almost exposed. Down to them, putting them on a hook, and then you're just able to camp them on the hook if you need to, and maybe other survivors are 99. There's a lot of different situations where No Way Out could be pretty good for the killer, especially Ghost Phase. I think he can use it pretty well. So those are our perks. Let's talk about our add-ons now. With this build, we have free reign to use any of our add-ons. So the ones I've chosen today is Olsen's Wallet and the Cheap Cologne. Olsen's Wallet, any single time we break a pallet, it immediately recharges Night Shroud. We actually get some really good value off of this. Um, I would say this is a pretty good example of how to use Olsen's Wallet with Ghostface. But of course, every situation is different, so you know, take every situation with strides. But this is how I would use it. The next we have is a Cheap Cologne. It increases the marks duration by 10 seconds. Having survivors deal with you know being exposed for an extra 10 seconds can help out a lot. And adding pressure in any case just to survivors can be extremely helpful, especially for Ghostface because he is a basic attack killer. And without the Cologne Bottle, we actually would have not have gotten a, or another early game down, so it really did help us out a lot in the end. So that's our build. To top everything off, we are bringing in Ebony Mori, as asked by Joseph. It's built kind of everywhere, but I can see how it can be very useful for Ghostface. But of course, you'll be the judge of that. And who knows, maybe you can try this build out, or if not, maybe you can try out a couple perks just to see how they work together. That's one of the main reasons why I love doing suggestion builds, is because it, I'm able to, you know, show off these builds and kind of get my thoughts on it. And if I'm able to improve them, I say improve with quotation marks, meaning I think that this build could work better with a certain perk. That or change up a couple other things. But honestly, I had a lot of fun with this build. This is pretty enjoyable. Thank you, Joseph, again, for suggesting it. I really do appreciate it, my friend. And I want to thank everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Toba Landing. This, uh... It's pretty close quarters to a certain degree. There's some open parts, but not the worst in the world, you know. Okay, let's see which those three are. Uh, and the main building one, too. Hope I see somebody. That's Fang. It's a good start for us. We already got some... Michaela. Not too sure where she's up to. What's that? 
Hello. Who? Hi. This is really bad for her. That's fine, I'll take it. Get her ability back. Oop. Hello, oh, Michaela. Good start. I lost our corrupt, but that's alright. No surge either, so we know nobody's here. Good try. She is she's gunning it for it though. Ooh, she might have seen us. She definitely did. I'll take it. Alright, we have two people ninety-nine. Or I don't know if you could really count Cheryl, but that was a really good timing, we got our ability back. She's gonna be very confused in about two seconds. Ooh, good job. It's alright. Got her ability back immediately. I really do like this hat on a lot. I think we messed up a little bit. Ooh, man, we, we traded. That was really good timing. Force her to drop it. Break now. My goal, I really, my goal was to hope that this was Nia, but we have two people marked, so put a little bit of pressure on them. I think it was a Lyth. Yeah, it was. Jeez, that good distance, Fang. This will be a down, though. One surge at least. We could find Nia from here, which is. A try. That was a huge mistake. Also, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know how close we were on that. Yeah, we, we know the obsession is. <laughs> we leave this pallet down over here so I can get it later whenever I need my ability. Hi. Oh, smart man, I'll drop Nia and go for Fang. Or for Fang for uh, Cheryl, but I'm gonna give him a chance. Uh, okay, you're the obsession now. Let's see. Not healing underneath hook. Which ends we don't have progress. This one over here. And the main building one. This is a. Uh, on her. I'll take it. She is 99 at least. That's all that matters. There's Cheryl. And, oh, is that Fang? No, that's Fang. I just want Michaela. Pulled over. She had Lythe? I'm not too sure. It looked like a lithe. There's a window there. This has some progress. Dang it, man. Alright, we can break this. We can get our ability back. I was hoping to expose her in that amount of time, but... Get some really good value off of our... Add-on. Oh, sorry, where did she go? I have no idea where Michaela went. Good job, Michaela. I blew lost her there. Maybe she's that main building. Let's see, please don't expose me. That really sucks. Just gonna have to hit her. We're wasting too much time trying to expose people. This pallet's gone. The window's still there, though. That worked out. Surge there, surge there. Very good. We need to search on the main building one. Uh, he's behind me. I saw it for a second. I 
Thanks here. Uh, good job, Cheryl. I'm pretty sure that was her. I kind of don't want to chase her. I want to see if we can try to get a friend still the end value from her. She's running to no man's land. There's nothing over here. Oh, there's a here. Never mind. Let's walk through it. Break it. Turn sure left. I'm not a big fan of these loops too much. You have a life, my friend? You do not. I was really hoping she'd double back on herself, but she did not. Good job, Cheryl. Or Cheryl. Sorry. Um. Nia. Yeah. Uh, Michaela did heal. Fang, I'm assuming she has resilience. Did somebody scream? I'm not too sure what that was. Might have been a skill check for healing. I hope Cheryl will stay close to us, because if she does, I can I can hook Nia in. That's Michaela. And Fang. Stuck. Yeah, there she is. Okay, let me go this way, and let me go this way. Let's search on both gens. I don't think she knows that we can see her. Gotta get value off of that. Uh, Fang, which is a little unfortunate because she's likes to stay injured. Um, I'd like to chase her. Maybe we can get rid of that. Session from her. There she is. And upstairs, Jen lost a lot of progress. This will be a surge on the generator to my left. Try. Try to get a life off. Might, we might not need a no way out. I think our endgame end game might not happen. Maybe. Oh gosh. I think this hook's closer to me. I'm just. Taking them really far away for to get them back into the center of the map. Uh, Cheryl again. She kept going? Yeah, she did. Oops. Well, that was a mistake on our part. Maybe she doesn't know we're behind her. That's fine. Get her ability back anyways. Sorry, I forgot you had life. Yeah, let's just say she should have bolted back. I didn't realize what I was doing until I fell off a little loop. We're wasting a little too much time, but honestly, we're, we're on this side of the map. We've already got rid of two pallets, and this whole side of the map we haven't really touched, so... It's very good. Alright, we're gonna leave that for later. Let's see if we can search right here. Or not. Let's chase you. Hoping Nia will mess up. Does everyone have life? Michaela has life. Fang has life, and so do you. So we're able to get our ability there, but it's all right. All right, we'll break this. Our goal is to find Nia now. Main building lost all of its progress, which is really sucks for Michaela. Thought she would be here. Definitely have made a lot of mistakes. But and again, yet again, so have they. Can I get this out of you? If you want to force people to drop pallets, swing on it. 
You know if you know you're gonna miss. Let's leave them. They're definitely friends. Because there's no reason why Michaela should not go to her next. Please say this is Nia. Nope. Still works for me, though. Took a grab any day. Don't get surge value out of it, but that's alright. Played. Uh, caster she is. This is still broken. Jeez, I got that main building done one fast. Alright, she knows we're onto her, so let's just, uh... See if we can find Nia. I panicked there. Oh, uh, we know where Michaela is. Oh, I have a Mori. That's right. Um, yeah, let's use it. We have time. This might confuse him, too. We can chase Sheryl next. she see us? Oh, she did now. Oh, she has nothing. Sorry, friend. And then we'll know where Michaela is because of this hook. Why is she over here? Not too sure where she went, though. There she is. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. She still has her life, I'm pretty sure. There she is. We have a pal behind us if we ever need to use it. Not this time, my friend. Sorry, Michaela. Such a gruesome worry. <laughs> That worked out well. We definitely made a lot of mistakes, but I'm not... I didn't... Know. Really? I thought I did this. Maybe we didn't mark Fang at one point? I don't remember. Eh, whatever. Anyways, so that was... That worked out okay. To really, life and balance. I don't think we saw the balance out of her. So wait, we had one life, two life... He had background player, I didn't see that. So okay, with three life. So Nia did not... Nia's the only one that did not have a... Did not have life. Um, Deliverance, I don't think we saw this. Who do we hook first? It was Nia, wasn't it? I don't remember it too well. Oh, we'll make it a good perk. Nearling, I don't think we've managed to even see this. Resilience on Michaela. She healed a lot. Or, or pretty fast, so... It's alright. I wonder why... I guess Fang wanted to get her styptic off. That's how she was injured most of the time. Nia... Uh, didn't... We didn't see any of her perks. This could have Empathy and, uh, Background Player. Especially if we able to get both these to, like, um... Level 3, man be really good at that point. Cheryl, didn't have enough time to see her adrenaline. No clue about Bond. We did see her life. No clue about Windows. But yeah, well played, everyone. I think this build worked out okay. I think Corrupt is pretty useless on Ghostface, at least in my opinion it is. It's good for, like, getting survivors to stock. I, I guess this is a good example of how Corrupt to be good on Ghostface, because the generators that were they all spawned next to were all Corrupted, so they all kind of had to come to me. But, um, I've had times where, uh, I'll be... I've run this build, like, I think three times now. This is my third attempt of this build, and this is the only one that was really good, but... Um... I've had a lot of, um... I've had a lot of, uh... Survivors spawn on the side of the generators, so it's like, you kind of want to pursue them to, you know, to get them to stop. And you could stock them, but if you're able to instant down them, then there goes your corrupt, so... My opinion, I think, uh, corrupt is, is a good choice, but it can be... It's like a double-edged sword. It can be very useful, and it can be very useless. This was a very good example of being useful, though. 
Um, I'm gonna open up the build just so I can talk about it more. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I think this build's good. I mean, the add-ons are pretty decent. At least I like Olsen's wallet, and I do like uh, the cheap cologne. Just because marking them for a lot longer adds more pressure if you're just sitting needing to leave them for something. At least my opinion it is. But, Corrupt is okay. I think No Way Out is good on Ghostface, just because if you need to get to... If you having to struggle... Or if you're struggling a lot with Ghostface and you get to, like, the end game, it's very good to have No Way Out. You have a lot more time to really mess the survivors, and if you're able to catch one off guard by a, um... By, let's say, a door, and you're able to stalk them most of the way and just 99 them and then find them, like... Chase another survivor, down him, go back to that door, because you know where they're going to be, and down him. That's the way you can do that. Surge, of course, is amazing on Ghostface, just because, you know, he only has basic attacks. It's good, so it's very useful for him. And then Friends to the End, it's a bit of a mixed bag for me. Friends to the End is good when it comes to finding where survivors are, at least your obsession. But, um, I think that maybe Barbecue might be better, because you're able to see where more are, and just be able to go from there. But, honestly, we got we got really good value out of Friends to the End. Man, or really, it was only the one time, but still, we managed to actually get some really good value off of it. That's my opinion. And with Moris, I don't mind Moris. Um, I personally I personally don't like bringing them. I like just bringing blood points. But that's just me. But uh, Moris can be very helpful. Because uh, we weren't going to lose there if we didn't Mori Nia. But it was good just to Mori her. Because just to drag her all the way downstairs to where the, the closest hook I believe was near where Cheryl was. So we were able to just kill Nia and kind of sneak up on Cheryl. So that was very useful for us. I will say though, I did have fun with this build. This build is kind of everywhere. But um... Honestly, it's not bad. You do have some pressure, you do have some re re um, regression, you do also have some, you know, some endgame perks just in case, and also you have a good starter perk, but honestly, I think that maybe change out Corrupt Intervention with maybe, like, Thrilling Tremors, so you're just able to know where survivors are more. At least in my opinion, that would be better. Uh, I don't know, Corrupt is a mixed bag with me. I don't bring it very often, and I'm not too big of a fan of it, but... It's not a bad perk by any means, honestly. It's very good for Trapper and Hag and a couple other killers that kind of need some setup. Legion 2 would be good to bring it on, but my opinion, I don't think Ghostface needs it. Still, overall, a fun build. And like I said before about what comes to builds, if you are good with a build, don't change your build up for anyone. That's, I've said this a million times. If you, if you have a build that works for you and you manage to get good results on it, then yeah, don't change up your build. But if you're open to ideas, it's always smart to do as well, just because, you know, if maybe you might be able to find a perk that you might like that might make your build better, possibly. But who knows? That's the joy of this game. Everyone can kind of run their own stuff and either they're able to get the results with it, maybe not, but that's the whole point of testing. Finishing off that, again, Joseph, thank you so much for this build suggestion. I really hope you enjoyed, my friend. And of course, I hope everyone else enjoyed. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. I try to post four times a week. And if you like the video, leave a like. Help support the channel. Check out my Instagram. I just post updates on there whenever I can. Link in the description. And yeah, thanks again, everyone. Appreciate all of you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe out there, friends.